fast summer break quickly winds down for Chicago Public School students. District officials are laying out their comprehensive safety plan. WGN's Jewel Hillary joining us now live from Percy Julian High School. That's on the far south side with a story. Hey, Jewel. Hi, Micah and Ray. Well, CPS CEO Pedro Martinez was joined by the district's top safety and security officer, along with other safety officials this afternoon as they laid out the district's plan to keep students and educators protected this coming school year. CPS Superintendent Pedro Martinez says teachers and staff are working diligently to make sure students have a warm welcome back to class next Monday. We're still working around the clock to make sure the buildings are ready. With last minute preps underway, district leaders want parents to know student safety is their top priority. Every one of our school has a custom safety plan. With recent mass shootings in and out of schools overwhelming the country, CPS along with police, fire and OEMC officials performed an active shooter drill Thursday afternoon at Percy Julian High School. Uh, the last time we did this was 2018 and so I'm just excited and, and really applaud our colleagues for just helping us because it's a lot of work um, and it does it does and it does feel real so for our staff that are participating you know I really applaud them because it is something that we'll learn a lot from. The district plans to perform similar drills on an ongoing basis at different schools. Once we get past this one, we'll do an after action. Um, we are talking with our partners to say, where's the next school? We'll look at a different layout, a different type of school to make sure that we're, again, just considering different variables. So we're not just doing the same thing over and over again. Along with safety drills, CPS is investing $2 million in the Safe Passage program to make sure students feel safe getting to and from school. They're also spending $8 million in safety technology. Additionally, the district is partnering with Safer Schools Together to help with social media. This initiative with our partner Safer Schools Together will allow us to proactively identify those situations which are bubbling up on social media, which then allows us to conduct an intervention before it turns into a more serious incident. Protecting students and educators from COVID also remains a top priority. CEO Martinez says district leaders and the Chicago Teachers Union are collaborating well on a proposed agreement, which CTU members are learning more about in a private meeting tonight. With the new CDC guidance, the great news is that we are able to keep our children in person and do it safely. CTU officials say the proposed COVID safety agreement strongly recommends wearing masks in schools, more incentives for substitutes, continuing weekly COVID testing, and keeping school COVID safety committees in place. Now, the Chicago Teachers Union is expected to vote on that proposed agreement next Wednesday, and if approved, it'll be sent to the full membership for a vote. Also, when it comes to more information on the district's safety plans for the school year, you can learn more by clicking on this story on our website at WGNTV.com. The first day of school for CPS students is this coming Monday, August 22nd. Reporting live from the far south side, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News. Thank you, Jewel. Well, you're going to get an A. Because